So let us talk about autonomic computing. In this, uh, we'll see what is uh, autonomic computing, the key elements of autonomic computing, and what is this uh, automatic computing architecture, and the manager of autonomic, then autonomic manager collaboration, and various characteristics and a grand challenge. Finally, concluding. Then let us start with the introduction. A software system that operates on its own or with a minimum of human interference according to set of rules. So the basic idea is that the human interference should be at least as the name suggests autonomic means by itself doing everything by itself. So to increase the productivity while minimizing the complexity for users and this is uh, computing will be capable of running themselves and adjusting to various circumstances for sure with these set of rules uh, then we have control theory adaptive algorithms software agents robotics fault tolerant computing machine learning artificial intelligence and many more all these things involved together then autonomic computing what is it actually is a new vision of computing initiated by IBM IBM is a giant company and uh, this is a new paradigm shift uh, f uh, that shifts the fundamental definition of the technology age from one of uh, computing to one defined by uh, the data. So this there is a sort of shifting from you know from computing uh, to computing from the data actually. So access to data from multiple distributed sources in addition to traditional centralized storage devices this will allow the users to transparently access information when and where they need it so along with these centralized storage devices there are multiple distributed sources sources because we have it around now everywhere data is there so this helps and the key element of autonomic computing as the name already suggested autonomic means by itself so knows by itself it configure optimize heal protect adapt and open itself so most of the things are done automatically without uh, the intervention of user or without the user knowing much this is the autonomic computing architecture now the autonom uh, autonomic nervous system governs body functions as you know we have circulation respiration and digestion so circulation has our heart rate respiratory rate or oxygen levels or blood sugar this respiratory has digestion uh, has our digestion you know these things are everything is con uh, controlled by some or the, or the other function there is an autonomic nervous system. You don't have to bother. Have you ever bothered about what is going on if you eat something? Do you think what is going on inside your body means which acid is are producing, where, when it is going to a smaller intestine or bigger intestine? You have never thought because everything is, you, you know, autonomous. It is happening by itself. So this suggested that you have to decide, take the resource, again decide and in, in meanwhile, while taking resources need to measure and while deciding uh, you need to control so this is autonomic manager these are managed elements by this autonomic manager and there are sensors and there are effectors so these analyze plan execute then monitor in between there is a knowledge so these sensor and effectors, sensor and effectors are there and this, this process is going on. So autonomic manager is this part and managed element is this part. This element is actually managed by this whole autonomic manager. Also, we have these sensors and effectors. So sensors give or provides alert, event, problem analysis, uh, request interface while these effectors they have uh, this uh, policy or uh, to uh, interface to that uh, interprets and translate into the control logic right this is uh, what uh, sudden alerts events and all all done by sensors and effectors they translate these to our control logic 
again uh, let me elaborate it which we just saw in the previous slide analyzing planning executing and monitoring as this 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 is going on right now for example analyze means for that we have analysis engines policy validations policy resolutions and rule engines and for planning we have policy interpreter policy transforms plan generators to execute we have workflow engine service dispatcher schedule engine and distribution engine and to monitor we have filters simple correlators and metric managers and of course we the knowledge is uh, the basis so for knowledge from you know, topology calendar recent, recent activity log and policies this is how automat uh, autonomic uh, manager you know works out and these sensors and effectors are involved for this continuous process now the autonomic uh, manager collaboration is something like this we have this business domain for customer order and this is business domain for vendor relationship this part right now these are the compos composite resource domain for databases and these are the com composite resource domains for servers so we have server here we have databases here and customer uh, customer orders the application goes and the vendor relationship application is here so this is how you know this part this is one uh, you know i cannot uh, this can I, i can just say this is a polygon for sake and this is a polygon now these are the common points for this uh, business activity so this is how autonomic manager collaboration takes place and uh, when we talk about manager element because there are two parts one is our manager one, one is our element so manager element is a controlled uh, system component and this manager element will essentially be equivalent to what is found in ordinary non autonomic systems although it can be adapted to uh, enable this uh, autonomic autonomic manager to monitor and control it so manage manager element is not uh, not an autonomic part but it will it is as found in non autonomic systems and this is the sensors provide mechanism to collect information about the state of this element and the state transition of this element so the task of sensor is to collect information about the state and state transition of an element what does effector do the effectors are actually the mechanism that changes the state of the element effector changes the and sensor senses the right now there are various uh, characteristics or miscellaneous characteristics of this particular thing which we are talking autonomic it is automaticity it is adaptive it is aware reflexivity is there transparency is there it is open source the most important auto automaticity is there as i uh, earlier mentioned but it is along with your evolvability so easy to train and learn now a grand challenge what is a grand challenge a grand challenge is a problem that, that by virtue of its degree of difficulty and the importance of its solution both from the technical and societal point of view becomes a focus of interest to a specific scientific community so a grand challenge is a problem in itself the problem is grand and the solution also is also grand that is why scientific community is talking about it or it talks about it that that is uh, indicated as a great grand challenge so the difficulty in developing and implementing this autonomic computing is not enough to constitute a this uh, grand challenge so in conclusion uh, is it possible to meet great challenge from autonomic computing without magic and without fully solving the ai problem if it is this possible if at all it is possible then autonomic computing will be uh, the next uh, technology which everyone will be using or talking about so it is possible but it will take some time and patience and long before we solve many of the more challenging problems less automated relationship realization of autonomic system will be extremely valuable because it it is still in its infancy and as people uh, you know start researching on it uh, we are sure that sh shortly will be uh, creating and solving this grand challenge and uh, their uh, their value this uh, value will increase substantially as this aut autonomic computing technology uh, improves in future and this will earn greater trust and acceptance 
सो थैंक यू सो मच होप यू अंडरस्टूड अबिट आइडिया अबाउट दिस ऑटोनोमिक कंप्यूटिंग थैंक यू सो मच टेक केयर